Welcome back to another Let's Play. Today we are looking into Subway Sim with the Mega Update, which is uh, releasing very soon. I'm joined by Julian. Uh, hello, Julian. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, um, so we take a look into the second scenario today. Uh, the the third last one. time. Uh, the third one, I'm sorry. Uh, the last time uh, I was joined by Max, uh, the CEO of Far Innoways. Which uh, who taught me some stuff about like uh, driving a train? So uh, now I have a driver license for for the for the train in Subway Sim. So um, yeah, uh, this time we won't uh, go through the whole scenario. We will just show you some highlights and discuss some stuff about the update. Which which uh, yeah, as I already mentioned, already. Uh, or we'll, we'll come live in a bit. And uh, yeah, are there any like really big special news you wanna mention right at the beginning of this uh, short video? Probably the most important information is the release date, uh, which we mm -hmm. announced l on Friday. Uh, it's gonna be the 16th of May, um, the release date. Uh, the update is gonna mm -hmm. be available on that day. Uh, you can all just uh, play it. Uh, probably around 3 p.m. CET and um, that's probably the most important news for you for most of you who already know the update and have played it already um, and I think we should take a look at all the most important highlights of the update mm. uh, just for everybody who's who might not have uh, heard about it or just didn't watch the last video and just want to a, a short little summary of all the main features of the update Fahrgäste der Linie U3. Wegen Bauarbeiten ist die U3 zurzeit zwischen Rathaus und Berliner Tor gesperrt und durch Busse ersetzt. Bitte nutzen Sie alternative Bus-, U- oder S-Bahn-Linien. Nächster Halt, Barmweg. Dieser Zug fährt nach Hauptbahnhof Süd, Schlumm. Ausstieg links. Ja, yeah, as you may have seen uh, or heard, uh Maybe if you can speak or read German, um, this uh, scenario is about uh, line closure, and we just have an, we just had an announcement uh, that uh, our passengers have to keep in mind that they have to uh, enter the bus or like the uh, tram at a certain uh, part of our uh, track because the track is blocked because of construction because of a construction. And yeah. The whole thing about this scenario is that we have to uh, turn quite a few times and also that we are not only driving with two trains but we are actually driving with three trains which is uh, yeah, quite a huge challenge uh, if you for example keep in mind that uh, for the update they reworked the or in a way reworked the uh, braking system uh, yeah which is a completely new challenge, especially like with three trains. Um, yeah, what else is new in the update? Yeah, I'd say I come back to the scenarios itself because mm. I think to me personally, the, uh, the new scenarios, um, the highlight of the update, I don't know if, uh, how you feel about it, but uh, they add a lot more yeah, variety to the entire mm -hmm. game. I mean, before yeah. you had yeah. like one line, and now you have different scenarios which all differ in difficulty. So this one is, um, yeah, I, I would say the challenge of it is, like you said, the brake, um, the braking yeah. system that has been reworked. Uh, we showed, the last one we showed uh, was a bit different. It was a bit shorter. I think it was like 30 minutes long. This mm -hmm. one is like 40 minutes long, I think. Yeah. And so they not only vary, uh, vary in um, kind of difficulty, but also in time. So if you click on the scenario mode button in the main menu, you see six scenarios which are all different uh, in some way. And um, even if it doesn't look like that way, they all differ quite a bit in terms of scenario. And they all depict 
real life scenarios or real life incidents that can happen to like you know train operator in hamburg and everywhere in the world basically which yeah. are, offer a lot more realism and a lot more yeah gameplay and to quite you know unique ways to play the game so that's my personal highlight uh, of the update itself and this is actually one of my favorite scenarios of it because it's you know, pretty cool to have like three trains attached and um yeah that's basically my highlight yeah definitely because like uh, some train stations are quite short and you really have to keep an eye as you can see how long the train actually is that uh, the train actually uh, makes a really good stop so everyone can every one of our passengers can leave or enter the train where they want to and they don't have to walk like a few meters through the train until they can leave um, yeah but um, yeah of course the DT 5.1 is completely new but um, yeah um, it also the DT 5.2 got reworked um, what else is new uh, yeah as you can see probably or as you saw at the beginning um, for new players there's like there are like tool tips that have been added to mm. the entire thing to the entire game that have been available uh, so the, the beta of the update started at, uh, at 24th March I think on 24th March mm. um, and since then there have been several uh, beta updates which we're going to talk about in a bit but that is what one highlight that is especially pretty uh, pretty good for new players especially like for me it was as well um, that you really that the game shows you what to do so that yep. you can go right ahead and start playing immediately without figuring out controls or anything it really helps a lot and you also see on the the uh, right corner that the game shows you if the signal ahead is red or it's green if you're good to go or if you yep. have to wait and um, also the speed limit and uh, how long it is going to be until it changes so that's pretty cool and you already mentioned the DT5 uh, that not only the existing model the DT5.2 has been reworked but mm -hmm. also the DT5.1 has been completely yeah, completely added to the game mm -hmm. and that was one of the main aspects of the update that uh, I anyways put a lot of emphasis on that the entire Nächster game should be more realistic than Hamburger ever Straße. which also includes Ausstieg obviously rechts. the um, the, the vehicles that you drive in pro uh, obviously and the DT5 is basically depicted in its original state uh, its original delivery state which is also pretty cool to see right and you can also see how smooth it is, how smooth the game runs I mean a lot of performance problems have been fixed a lot of you know just other improvements bug fixes everything looks smoother feels better as well um, as you can tell by watching the gameplay and uh, yeah, and, and to be fair, like um, the game looks uh, gorgeous. Yeah, it it's really beautiful. Does. Yeah, it does. Um, so it, it's not only like for the for the uh, subway enthusiasts, but also for people who really like beautiful games. Uh, you can really uh, get lost into the in in, in the graphics at some point yeah I mean, um, especially I, like uh, at the golden hour for example that is that is really beautiful in this yeah, game definitely yeah, and i've spoken to a lot of people read a lot of comments of like people who actually live in hamburg and they're really uh, they're like really happy when they see like oh my god i know this building i know this building mm -hmm. so um i mean obviously we try to put a lot of emphasis on the entire environment as well so that you yeah. can really see that it's actually hamburg and not just some generic city we're in so that mm -hmm. is pretty cool and i think a lot of you uh, will really enjoy the update when it comes out on 16th of may and yeah, uh, yeah definitely give us a feedback again uh, we're going to come to the uh, beta updates that have been done so far in a short bit and um, already mentioned also mentioned what's new what has been done mm -hmm. during the entire uh, beta program basically yeah and, and the thing about the whole beta update is which i really i'm, I'm really uh excited about or actually like impressed is that the without within the beta update there weren't just like uh bug fixes 
um, Para Innovates actually also added new content, like for example the uh, controller, uh, the controller input settings that you can now completely freely set uh, in game. Yeah, definitely easier than before. Like completely done in the main menu, you can just enter mm -hmm. settings in the main menu and configure them as you like, and obviously. Probably a highlight is also the new skin that it was um, added for the DC 5.1. I mean, the train just got released and yet there's already a new skin for it, which you can yeah. see in a short clip. Yeah. That is like one of the highlights of these little beta updates. So they're not only, there are four of them at the moment at the time of the recording. And there's going to be a fifth one uh, later this week, probably. So uh, you can tell that the devs want to make sure that everything works out as it should, that um, all the boxes are fixed, that all the improvements yeah. that can be made uh, were made uh, so that you get a nice round full um, yeah, package, you know, like a great, great update basically. Because they have w spent a lot of time on this update, improved everything that needs to be improved. Ausstieg links. Achtung, wegen Bauarbeiten ist die U3 zur Zeit zwischen Rathaus und Berliner Tor gesperrt und durch Busse ersetzt. Bitte nutzen Sie alternative Bus-, U- oder S-Bahn-Linien. Diese Zugfahrt endet hier. Bitte alle aussteigen. Now we are getting closer to our end station for the moment, uh, because, uh, yeah, as, as I told you, or is uh, the scenario uh, is built like uh, that the this that this track is blocked at a certain point, and at this point, like in 300 meters, we have to uh, change the position. Uh, right now, it's getting pretty dark, and as you can see, I'm trying to turn on the light. Uh, turn on the light, but yeah. I'm. It's a tunnel Sorry. after all, so... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm failing pretty miserable. Um, yeah, we don't want to show you the whole uh, scenario because we want that you experience the scenario or all the scenarios for yourself and where's the fun in when we show you everything. Um, yeah, so we are getting to a stop. That is like the end stop for our passengers, which we still have. Uh, as you can see in the little camera, uh, people are leaving. We we are deactivating uh, this uh, this cabin, and we will switch the position and change the uh, driving direction. Um, yeah, and as you can see, also here on the um, uh, signals uh, that they are actually some signals are actually like uh, deal not DLC. DLC sollte ich nicht sagen. Um, as you can see that some signals are or displays are actually uh, scenario exclusive, which you won't see in the uh, in the free play or in the uh, expert mode. Um, yeah, but yeah, we don't want to show you everything, so we are getting closely to an end. Uh, do you have anything to add? Uh, to your end? Yeah, I'm happy to uh, receive you uh, to read your feedback actually because mm. um, a lot of you oh, yeah. left feedback already. I mean, that's what the uh, the beta updates are based on, basically, on your feedback, mm. and we're really grateful for that. Uh, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Discord, wherever it is, just leave your feedback. And um, also looking forward to what you say about the scenarios. I mean, we've shown you two. There's still four left, so um, yeah. quite a bit to discover. And I think that's all I have to say about this. Yeah, um, yeah. Please, uh, even after the uh, beta, uh, leave uh, feedback for uh, high innovations either on our Discord, Eversoft, um, or on the Discord server of High Innovations. Um, feel free to give the game a rating on Steam. That helps a lot. And uh, yeah, thanks for your time. Julian, and yeah, thanks for the invite. 
I would say uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Yep. See you.